And so it says that he appeared unto them in another form unto two of them as they walked and went into the country. And they went and told it unto the residue, neither believed they them. Afterward, he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. Now, isn't it interesting that it, that it repeatedly says here that they didn't believe it when they first heard it, right? At the end of verse 11, it says, you know, and they, when they had heard that he was alive and had been seen of her, believed not. It says in verse 13, they went and told it unto the residue, neither believed they them. And then it says, Jesus in verse 14, upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. Now flip back to Matthew chapter 28. Keep your finger there in Mark 16 where we are and go back to Matthew 28 because it says in Matthew 28 something similar. It says in verse number 17, and when they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. Some doubted. So even when they see Jesus, risen from the dead, and they're with them on the Mount of Olives, it says some of them doubted even then because it was just so hard for them to believe. It was just so hard for them to comprehend. Now, what this tells me is that it's possible for a person to be saved and still have doubts. And it's possible for a person to believe on Jesus Christ and be saved, and then later on they see something or hear something and they doubt the truth. And they don't always have the faith that we should, that they should have as Christians. See, to get saved, it doesn't take a lot of faith. You know, you just have to put your faith in Jesus. It doesn't matter how much you have, it's just where did you put it? And you have to believe with all your heart, put all your faith on Jesus. But like the guy told Jesus, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. You know, he was even acknowledging the fact that he, he had doubts. And Jesus still healed his son. He said, if thou canst believe, all things are possible and all, I can heal him. But he said, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. These people, the, even the 11 disciples had doubts and some of them believed not when they first saw. Remember doubting Thomas. He said, except I put my finger into the print of the nails and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. And then once he saw it, he believed and he said, uh, Jesus said unto him, you know, you, you believe because you've seen, but blessed are they that have not seen and have yet believed. So it is very possible for Christians to have doubts. And the Bible teaches that faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So if you want to be a great person of faith, not only the faith to get saved comes through hearing, but the more we listen to God's word and the more we read God's word, that's going to build our faith and increase our faith. See, there are Christians that have more faith than others. Does it say everyone doubted in Matthew 28? No, it says some doubted. That means some of them didn't doubt. And that tells me that amongst Christians, even though we're all saved by believing on Jesus Christ, amongst Christians, there are different amounts of faith that, that those of us have, more than others or less than others. And that's why the disciples said, you know, Lord, increase our faith. And Jesus said to them, O ye of little faith. And we should work as Christians to increase our faith and build our faith. And part of that is through reading and hearing God's word. We can increase our faith. What does that tell you? That if you're out of church and not hearing God's word preached and you're not reading your Bible like you should, you're going to be weak in faith. The Bible says, him that is weak in the faith, receive ye, but not to doubtful disputations. There are people that, have, that are weak in the faith and there are people who doubt and there are people who have just a very little faith. But the more that we're in God's word, the greater the faith we're going to have. And also the Bible says that the fruit of the Spirit Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering. But one of the things on the list is faith. So if we're filled with the Spirit, that's going to increase our faith. Versus walking in the flesh, we're going to have doubts. We're going to have less faith.